A secondary school students in uniform groups like the Girls' Brigade are getting more training to handle emergencies. They'll be learning skills such as CPR through a revamped program. Students will also have more opportunities to volunteer. Alif Amshir reports. Everyone stay clear. Do not touch the page. A life-saving skill that can go a long way to help someone in an emergency. This course teaches students how to keep their cool and the proper use of devices such as an automated external defibrillator. It's among new additions to the revamped Total Defence Batch program. About 30,000 students across nine uniform groups take part in the program every year. One of the most valuable skills I can learn from this is to be prepared in times of crisis or emergency. Any life-threatening uh, circumstances that may arise, I think that I want to learn the skills necessary so that I can save lives and help to contribute to the community. These life-saving skills are, are really a life skill uh, that everyone should learn. To earn a gold badge, students must know how to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation or CPR. They can also take part in a psychological first aid course and learn how to give emotional support to others. To get a silver badge, they'll have to take part in an annual animation competition. They can delve into topics related to the six total defence pillars like digital and psychological defence. There are also more opportunities to volunteer, such as being a part of the Community Watch Scheme, where they'll be updated with the latest crime data, alerts and advisories. Through the scheme, I hope to be able to share valid information with my friends and family members so that they will be able to feel confident with the news that they receive. I have not participated in any volunteering schemes before, therefore I am really looking forward to this experience. To commemorate Total Defence Day, people can also visit the National Museum to learn more about Singapore's fall during World War II.